women in the world. She's a supermodel, a writer, and an actress. Please welcome the lovely Veronica Webb. Pretty, lovely outfit. Good to see you. You too. Now you travel all the time. You travel a lot too, eh? Yeah. I, I, you know, when you travel, do you sort of have to? Uh, well, not so much United States. When you when you go to foreign countries, because I know you do a lot of international stuff. Do you always find yourself with exotic foods and things? Is that awkward? Because I know you always have to keep. Well, it, your... it can be really awkward, yeah. but you know, my mother always said, "When in Rome." Yeah. Did your mother say that too? She's telling. My mom didn't get to Rome, but yeah, yeah. She was, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, I mean, you know, there's been mild incidences, like once I was in Morocco, and we ordered the house specialty, and we're in this beautiful, fancy tent type of restaurant, you know, it looks like Alibaba's Palace, and they bring out this dish on this giant sort of copper tray, and it's, mm, it's kind of like strange pizza pie, so they cut it up, and it's served very ceremoniously, right. and I take a bite, and I don't recognize it. You know how they say everything tastes like chicken? Well... This was not one of this, those times when it tasted like chicken. So I said, what is this? They said, it's pigeon. It's pigeon pate with spices and uh, ah. powdered sugar. <laughs> so I said, can I have some bread, please? But then the most extreme incident was... Delicious pigeon. Mm hmm But the most extreme incident was in Japan. Sorry, go ahead. Finish your story. You all right? <laughs> you need a bag? That's okay. So I'm in Japan, right? Sorry, just pigeon. Sorry, you're in Japan, I'm sorry. All right, yeah, well, well, now we're in Japan, it gets worse. We're in Japan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be with you through this. Okay, so I'm in Japan and doing this job, I'm getting paid a lot of money and it's very, you know, great and everything. And, and the client all day is excited about this reservation that they've had at the restaurant for like two months and we're going and it's the best sushi restaurant in the whole country. And we get there and it's amazing. There's this huge fish tank, like five, six hundred gallons and all it's these fish swimming around. It's expensive, Japan? Yeah, and this was one of the most expensive restaurants. It was going to be like eight or nine hundred bucks a person. Eight or nine hundred bucks a person? For sushi. Wow, okay. <laughs> They're not even cooking. They're just cutting. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine if it was cooked. Yeah. I can't. All right, so go ahead. So That's anyway, so everyone picks out their fish, right? And we sit down, sort of Benihana style. It's a U-shaped table, and there's a big... Um, there's, there's a big fish tank in the middle, and they've, and they've lit a fire underneath it. Well, so I'm not really noticing this, because the sushi chef now just... T there's a small fish tank in front, and he takes the, takes the fish out, and he fillets it, and throws it back in the water so fast that the fish doesn't realize that half of its body is gone. <laughs> and then I look, and the half of the fish's body is on a little rice patty on my plate. Oh, man. But before I can get over that, he takes a shrimp out of the thing and cuts its belly open and puts it on the rice patty, and it's squirming. <laughs> and this is the delicacy. So I'm sitting there kind of shaking, like, what's going to happen next? <laughs> right? So the fish is swimming, it's swimming, it's swimming, it's swimming faster and faster and faster in the tank, Jake. The water's boiling, and there's this big block of frozen tofu. Right? And the fish is burrowing its head into the tofu. <laughs> Okay, it's a good story. <laughs> Imagine how I felt, oh, no, right? No, no, I had to be polite. Ahead. So I'm looking around, I'm thinking like Jeffrey Dahmer must be in the kitchen. <laughs> Something really bad is gonna happen. Let me just be calm and work my way through this. Now what do you do? Do you pick? What do you do with that? I mean, just sort of, mm, I'm full. I mean, what do you do? How do you get around? I, I just, well, I always have the built-in excuse I'm on a diet. Oh, well, that works. Oh, well, that works. Okay. That's good. Now what, what, do, what do you do for, for uh, your diet? Uh, well, there's only a couple things I have to cut out. Like, I have to cut out bread and wheat. Those are Bread and wheat? This is... Well, th those are treats for me, Jay. Treats? Yeah. So what do you eat? Just, like, a grain? <laughs> no, it's like, you know, on the weekend, they'll have, like, bread or pancakes or a pasta or something like that. Oh, well, that's, that's the same thing as bread. That's wheat. Yeah, but don't, on the weekend, I can't do, do like, it every day. Do you like hot dogs? Uh, actually... <laughs> we have a hot dog guy coming out who eats... <laughs> you know, I feel like this is a trick question. You asking me if I eat wieners on TV. No, it's not a trick question. 